Titan attachments. I believe there's a Titan implements out there too. This is Titan attachments. Not to confuse the two. Pop belly fuel. Not too big. The stove. Hot belly food. something down and then go and clamp it man it must have been stronger at the moment I put that on anyway that's uh fun enough to get me through a week let's go get some more hey guys oh man that's blurry if uh you can see the shop bench behind me. Let's not judge my mess. Anyway, today we went out and uh, just cut up some small firewood for the pot belly stove because kerosene's ridiculous. And uh, one of the trees had fallen into the field, so it was in the way for the uh, equipment this spring, so it needed moved anyway. So just went out there, got it cut up. Um, you saw some clamp on pellet forks on the uh, front of the bucket and the one shot where I picked up the tree to make it easier to saw on. Those are uh, another uh, Titan, Titan Attachments product. That's the uh, third product now I've shown. The uh, trash can grabber, the, um, oh, what, what else was it? The Titan trash can grabber, the bucket clamp on receiver, and the now clamp on pallet forks. Uh, those pallet forks are way big for this tractor. My uh, lovely wife bought those for me for a Valentine's Day gift, and she uh, wasn't real familiar with what I would need or want for that. So she bought those, and I said, honey, those are, those are 4,000 pound clamp on forks. Those are way bigger than that tractor needs. She said, well, You'll just be ready for when you get your uh, bigger tractor. God, I love that woman. She knows me pretty well. What's going on, Shiloh? Eh, cat's coming in. What's going on? Here. Here. Say hi to YouTube, Shiloh. Say hi. Say hi. Crazy cat. My daughter, she's... Uh, going on 14 months old <laughs> she had the cat by the tail the other night she had it no kidding the tail was up by her head she's walking forward and the cat was on all fours behind her and she was just screaming I raise up look in the kitchen I go, Tessa put that cat down she put the cat down and I thought the cat was like terrified she just laid down on the floor and looked at her it was like oh that was fun it was crazy anyway Fun little story. So, just showing the tractor out there. It was pretty muddy. Um, I didn't have to lock it in four wheel drive though. Kept it in two wheel the whole time. Um, I was able to fill the bucket with one load. I need to go out there and get another load because uh, I end up out here as much as possible. And even when I'm not out here and I'm just going back in and out, I like to keep the stove cooking, keep this place a little bit warm without the kerosene. Anyway, YouTube, hope everybody's been well. Um, just a short little video. Please hit like, subscribe, and uh, God bless. See you guys.
Let's see if we can get that thing down. It's a perfect size for a pot belly pig, I mean stove. Battery might die. Breathing and I'm getting snot bubbles up my nose. It's kind of gross. Anyway, let's load it up. Did you guys a solid. Turned off the camera to throw up my snot rockets. She get me through uh, a week or two. I've been out here quite a bit lately. I built a modified uh, Leopold bench. Leopold, 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 Leopold. And I built my daughter a toy box. My wife's got one of those crickets, and so she made some decals and cute little frays for the front. So I've been using the stove a lot. 
I was thinking about buying one of those heat generated uh, like reclaimers for the stack but I don't know if they work if uh, any of you have any experience with them if they work good leave me a comment let me know I didn't want to waste the money for a fan that I could put behind it you know I could just plug in an electric fan a small one but if that works let me know about it anyway that's it for now.